Island News Midday Update is sponsored by Soldier to Soldier Hawaii Realty. Happy Wednesday, Hawaii. I'm Lindsay Fukano with your Island News Midday Update. The final two candidates for Honolulu's police chief will be interviewed today, and they are Deputy Chief James Lowry of Arlington Police Department in Texas and retired Pennsylvania Police Department Major Mark Lomax. Five other candidates were interviewed by the police commission this week. Watch Island News tonight for the very latest on the interview process. Kamehameha Highway is now back open after a truck hit a man on the North Shore, and police say a 51-year-old man was standing in the middle of the roadway when he was hit at around 2.25 this morning. Paramedics treated the man at the scene before taking him to a hospital. He is listed in critical condition. And here's new video we shot earlier this morning. This at the scene on Kamehameha Highway near Waialua. You can see traffic flowing once again. And a reminder to stay safe on the roadways because starting today, crossing the street while looking at your cell phone is now illegal on Oahu. And if you get caught by police looking down at your phone crossing the street, a first offense starts at $15 and a second violation ranges between $35 and $75. If you get caught a third time, fines go up to almost $100. More on the new law tonight on Island News. Heading to Washington now, two key Republican senators are choosing to leave rather than run for re-election in a party led by Trump. Senator Bob Corker saying the Trump legacy will be the debasing of the presidency. Arizona Senator Jeff Flake announcing he will not seek a second term because he is disgusted. As always, for the latest political news, more on these developing stories, don't forget to tune into Island News at 5, 6, and 10 tonight. And up next, our Jordan Saguna will have the latest on your island weather right after these messages. Stay tuned.